Hi, this is Dr. Sean Talbot, Montevideo's Chief Science and Innovation Officer, and welcome to another edition of From the Lab. You know, I thought today would be a good opportunity, since I'm in this 400,000 square foot facility where we manufacture some of our Monavi products, to give you a perspective for where these products come from. You can see the line behind me. This line, one of several lines that we have around the world, can produce 50 to 75,000 bottles per shift. So multiply that out times all the markets that we're in and all the different kinds of products that we do. And you can see that the, the production is a big, big monster of an issue at Monavi. So, you know, it's, it is astonishing when you think about it, how these fruits that we get from all over the world, things from Brazil, let's talk about the acai, right? You've, you've, you've heard me talk about the science behind that and the tradition behind that and where we get it from the acai groves in the Brazilian rainforest, in the Amazonian jungle. But then think about how we actually get that berry processed, manufactured, packaged, delivered, so it shows up on your doorstep and you can get the health benefits of it just like that. It's really a lot of moving parts. So when you come into a facility like this, you can see that the, the, the bottles are being filled. This is a, a hundreds and hundreds of feet of manufacturing line that are going all throughout this facility, all the way from the bottles being put on the line, the bottles being sanitized, the bottles being checked to make sure they're free of any foreign materials, the caps are sanitized in a very particular way so that what you get in the bottle is, is clean and pure and safe. But think about, let's step back for a second, think about even before it gets here to the manufacturing facility, what's gone in to getting that raw material out of the jungle and, and to this manufacturing facility, which by the way is, a, is an FDA certified, GMP certified, good manufacturing practices kind of a facility. So we have to look at the science to know what kinds of raw materials we want. So if we're talking about acai, we want to look at this fruit as one of the highest flavonoid fruits on the entire planet. That's one of the big health benefits that we want to get because it protects our body in a lot of different ways. We want to manufacture, we want to harvest that fruit in a very particular way so that we make sure we get high quality fruit. So we get fruit that has high level of water soluble flavonoids, a high level of fat soluble or lipid soluble flavonoids so they protect you in different parts of your body. We want to make sure that we maintain that, that essential uh, fatty acids, that oleic acid that we have there that is, um, that's heart healthy. It's the same kind of fatty acid that you'll find in olive oil. Uh, so, we, so we have that, that's that green sort of sheen that you get with Monavi juice. So we, we manufacture in country, in Brazil, to make sure that we, ma that we maintain all of those good bioactives, and then we get it here. So that powder and that pulp and that juice, depending on which fraction of the acai berry we're looking at, comes into a facility like this. And it comes into a quality control area where it's analyzed again, it's analyzed when we manufacture it in Brazil, it's shipped over in a very particular way to maintain those bioactives. It arrives here, it's analyzed again, just to make sure that everything is, is as it was when it left that facility in Brazil. So we do quality control, we do micro testing, we do various analytical testing to make sure that we're starting with good raw material. And then that goes into, just down the hallway from me, are these gigantic stainless steel tanks, 5,000 gallons which are sanitized before we put in all of the ingredients. We have very specific mixing instructions that the, the personnel can follow to make sure we get the exact right ratios of all of the different bioactives so that we're getting the activity that you want in a Monavi health product, but you also get the taste and the flavor that you want. So that recipe, so to speak, is, 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 uh, is mocked up so that we have this 5,000 gallon tank and then that starts the filling process, which I mentioned is hundreds of feet through this facility. So it starts with the bottles. So the bottles come in at the front of the line where they're loaded in all together to start this process. And it is checked every step of the way. The quality control in this facility and in all the Monavi manufacturing facilities is top notch. We follow what are called good manufacturing practices. You know, the FDA could come into this facility at any time to look at our raw materials, to look at our finished products, to look at the process along the way, and there are checks and balances at each step of the way. So we start with the bottles. They're loaded in at the front, 
they come in through, uh, through a, a series of steps where they're clean, they're sanitized, the caps are made ready to go, um, they're filled with the juice that is coming in from those 5,000 gallon tanks and then you can see them running along behind me. These are bottles that have just been filled and they are they're hot because they've gone through our flash pasteurization process to make sure that we're that we're sanitizing this fruit so that we're we're, we're doing it at a level that get rid of, get, gets rid of anything bad that might be in there but maintains the good bioactivity. So we're, we're losing the bad, we're maintaining the good and then it goes on to the next stage which is to cap it, to get it ready for packaging. We, on the other side of the facility here, after these bottles are cooled down and cleaned and capped and they're all ready and perfect to, to, to be packaged, they're put into the cases, the cases are checked, and then at the end of that entire process, we go through the GMP process again. We go through a quality process again to analyze that finished product. So we're looking at the raw material when, it le when, it, when we harvest it. We're looking at it after we process it in country, in the rainforest. We're looking at it when it arrives at the manufacturing uh, facility. We're looking at it all along the process and we're looking at it at the end so that when we finally ship this box, when we ship this case of Monobie juice and it goes out there into the world and shows up on your doorstep, you know you're gonna get something that is, that is wonderful for your health, that tastes good, that has that bioactivity, and is, is really what Monobi is known for. So I think it's important for people to realize that it's, it, it's very romantic to talk about the, 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 the wonders of acai and the health benefits of the rainforest and what we're doing there to harvest in a sustainable way to bring that to the world. But then we have to also talk about the practicalities of how do we do that? What are all the moving parts and how can we maintain quality at every step of the way? Monavi's got you covered. So I just wanted to give you a perspective for that. We're going to be talking about the, the really digging in deep to the health benefits of these products in the next several editions of From the Lab. So I hope that you'll join me. Be sure to send in your questions. If you have topics that you want us to cover in future editions of From the Lab, email in. You can see the email address at the bottom of your screen and we'll put all of those into a show and we'll answer your questions. We'll do special shows if we feel that we need to dive deep into any of those topics. And join me again next time on From the Lab. This is Dr. Sean Talbot. Bye-bye.